to be or not to be, that is the question. Actually, it is not at all. The question is, where will Sardar Azmoun be playing football next season? And of course, joining me, Dara Zarandi. Dara, how's it going, man? Yo, yo, going well. How about you, Art? Doing okay. Ready to get this started. So let's get right to it. You know, as we know, you know, this is a time, like we said before, there's plenty to talk about involving transfer news. And Sardar Azmoun's name is always all over the place. A lot of speculation. You know, we enjoy it. You know, we're always wondering, we're just wondering, you know, what's going to happen? So there's plenty to talk about. All right now, one rumor that really has gotten a lot of attention is that Arsenal of the English Premier League is closing in on Sardar Azmoun with the help of former gunner Andre Arshavin. Now, Dara, what can you say about all this? So, I mean, just from a speculation standpoint, um, I, I personally don't really think it's going to happen based on what I've read and what I trust. Um, initially, I've, uh, I, I did hear the reports that uh, Mikel Arteta reached out to Andre Arshavin about a potential transfer. And Arshavin um, actually came out the other day uh, and said that he hasn't spoken with Arteta. Um, so for now, it's just speculation. Um, I'm not sure that uh, it will actually happen. I don't think it will actually happen. Um, what I will say is that Osmond definitely is a player who is well suited to play in the Premier League based on his style, his strong physical abilities, um, and, and as well as just I, I personally believe that Russia translates as a good uh, transition league to a, a place like uh, England because of its uh, physical um, demands. So uh, the Premier League would be sweet if it could work out for Osmond. I don't think it would be Arsenal at this point in time. Yeah, and hearing you say that also leads me to think of something else that, def that definitely needs to be brought up. And this involves taking a look at Arsenal's roster and seeing which players they have at the striker center forward position. Now, two players that come to mind right away first, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. I mean, this guy is a really quality finisher, really dangerous, could also play on the wing. He has a huge uh, market value. And... He, he does have about one year remaining on his contract, but the speculation now is that is that he's probably going to sign to stay in Arsenal longer, and a big part of that involves a report from ESPN FC that Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is ready to stay at Arsenal with um, teammate Bukayo Saka, a player that he, I believe he's really cool with. You know, they enjoy playing together. So for me, I feel as if, you know, if Aubameyang does sign that extension, you know, he's going to be staying for a while. But not just him on the roster, also striker Alexander Lacazette, I mean, another player who's a great finisher, also has a huge price tag as well. And just by seeing these two players on the Arsenal roster, it makes me say that I don't see Sardar Azmoun fitting in with Arsenal there, especially with both of those players on the roster. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, I think Osmond would definitely not, not I think, I know, Osmond would definitely not want to go to a team that he would be taking on like a secondary role where he would be like, uh, you know, more of a person who's going to be featuring off the bench. Um, so I agree with you. I think that when you look at Arsenal's lineup right now, that makes it even less likely seeing that Aubameyang and Lacazette are there. Um, let's see what happens with, with Abemyang, though, because I, I do know that there has been interest around him from a lot of different clubs. So Arsenal may just be looking to re-sign him to secure uh, their ability to, to get money from him for, for a transfer from him. So let's, let's see how that plays out. Yeah, and before we get to another rumor, I would just want to say that I feel as if there's many Iranian football fans that would not want to see Osmoon go to Arsenal, especially like you said, if it becomes a secondary role, I mean, we've seen how things have become, we've seen how things have worked out with Ali Reza Jahan Bash, with his situation in Brighton. Of course, let's not get into that can of worms. We'll say that for another time. But you see, you see what I'm getting at. Yeah, totally. I think Iranian fans in general, just from like what I see, hear, and read um, from Iranian football fans is that they don't really uh, like the idea of, of their players going to England just because of uh, those experiences that you just mentioned, like John Bash and so on and so forth. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, now let's get to another rumor. And this is one I feel that, um, I, this is a rumor I feel that is more of a possibility that it can happen. But like we said, you know, we gotta wait and see how things go. But now let's talk about Napoli of Serie A. 
And there have been also a good amount of rumors that Napoli is very interested in Sardar Azmoun. And uh, right now, of course, to bring in something to talk about as well to go with this is that uh, Arkadiusz Milik, current member of Napoli, playing at the striker position, very good finisher, a player who has a pretty big price tag as well. But rumor has it that since he has one year remaining on his deal, is that Napoli is trying to cash in on it. You know, not a surprise. We see this happen a lot. They don't want to let him walk for nothing. And three teams that are interested in Arkadiusz Milik are Tottenham, Juventus, and Atletico Madrid. So from your standpoint, I mean, if Milik does indeed get sold, I mean, do you feel like this is a very ideal situation for Sardar Azmoun? For sure, because that would definitely free up the, the number one spot for him um, that he would want if he were to go to Napoli. So, um, so yeah, that, that definitely would make it more likely, um, you know, Osmond's arrival at Napoli. But what I will say is that I did read this morning that um, the Napoli management is in advanced talks and negotiations with uh, Victor Osimen. Um, so if they do indeed go ahead and, and that, that does pan out um, for Napoli, then that's going to remove them as a possible destination for Osmond. Like you said, we always have to wait and see what happens. And while we've gone over a couple of these rumors, you know, like Osmoon to Arsenal or Osmoon to Napoli, you know, let's get to what we think is going to happen or, you know, what we want in general. I mean, from your point of view, where do you want to see Sardar Osmoon go? But more importantly, I mean, what do you expect will happen? Do you, is there a part of you that feels that maybe he might ultimately end up staying at Zenit St. Petersburg? Yeah, I, I definitely think that's a possibility. Um, Zenit will have a strict price tag on him. Um, they're seemingly um, pretty adamant about getting that $30 million that they want for him. Um, it's an interesting time, though, obviously, because of the whole coronavirus and how it's affecting transfer prices and whatnot. So that is to be de to be determined on, you know, if Zenit will um, lower their, their tag they have set on Osmoon at all. But um, I do see him staying at Zenit as a, as, as a possibility for sure. Um, but my number one candidate who I wanted him to go to, and it was also the most uh, realistic uh, destination according to the validity of, of a lot of the reports, it was Napoli. Um, but like I said this morning, seeing that uh, Ozeman is literally on his way to Italy to negotiate with Napoli um, and have a meeting with Gattuso and um, the the rest of their management, it's going to make it extremely unlikely at this point um, that Osman does uh, that Osman does wind up going there. I think that would be the best destination for him. But I think at this point, I, between staying at Zenit um, and maybe one of the other Premier League suitors like Everton, um, those might be the most realistic options at this point. From my point of view. I've been saying all along that I want to see Osmoon go to Napoli, you know, just because when we compare that situation to going to the English Premier League, like I said, I just want to be clear that I have no problem with Osmoon going to the English Premier League, but only if it means that he's going to get, you know, plenty of playing time and, you know, really good minutes. You know, we don't want to see him riding on the bench, you know, wondering what's going to happen or if he's, or, you know, wondering whether or not he's going to make the game day squad. You know, we do not want to see that at all. So yeah, like from my point of view, yes, I would love to see him at Napoli, but then if, from what you just said, this is this is kind of this might be putting a dent in the plans. But like you said, we have to wait and see as well. And just also, you know, if he were to end up staying at Zenit St. Petersburg, that's something I can say that I would not be thrilled with because you know we want to see Osmond play in a bigger and better league, and you know he wants this challenge as well. Definitely, um, and I think it's long overdue. I think that he was able to do it um, along time ago I think he you know after his Champions League season he had with Rosov um seeing his performances against the best clubs in the world um that was enough at that point in time and there was of course interest so many different times for for Oswin and uh according to him there was numerous different reasons why he didn't leave in the past and I you know we could sit here and debate you know if it was actually a good decision or not good decision weighing the pros and the cons but uh, the point is, is that I agree with you. You want to see Osmond playing the highest level um, on a regular basis. Napoli would have been a perfect fit, I think, based on who he ha would have had at his disposal to support him. Um, and uh, I, I do think there are Premier League teams that, 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 that could work out for him too. 
Um, I don't fully agree with you on Zenit, though. I will say Zenit is a classy, classy club. Um, it's a place where I think Osmond has taken his game to the next level. He's played in the Champions League and scored some goals. Um, he's helped his team win championships. Like he's he's gotten really good experience at a really big club. Um, but I do agree that it is time he does need to make that move sooner rather than later, um, because at the end of the day, it is a long overdue move. Dara, as always, a pleasure to have you on the show. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you, Art. In the meantime, you all know what to do. Get to our website, teammelletalk.com. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. We'll see you on the next edition of Team Melly Talk.